क्लास फाइव सोशल स्टडीज टर्म वन लेसन नंबर टू अबाउट मैप्स लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव इन दिस लेसन यू विल लर्न अबाउट मैप्स टाइप्स ऑफ मैप्स डायरेक्शंस स्केल की कलर्स ऑन अ मैप warm up draw the map in your notebook and color it as given blue stands for oceans green stands for plains brown stands for mountains orange stands for deserts introduction globe is the model to study the features of the earth it is fixed on a stand that can rotate just like our earth rotates on its axis since the globe has the same shape as that of the earth all places can be shown on it in their correct positions a globe is therefore a true representative of the earth but the globe is big and inconvenient to carry to all the places so maps were prepared a map represents the world or a part of it on a flat surface as per convenience it can be drawn on a piece of paper to show the entire world or section of it it can be folded and carried more conveniently anywhere maps a map is a representation of the earth's surface or a part of it on a flat surface the word map comes from the latin word mapo which means a napkin a flemish map maker gerardus mercator was the first person to publish a collection of maps in the form of a book a book of maps is called an atlas we can draw maps on a flat surface to show countries cities and even a neighborhood you can draw a map of your school and show all the details on it thus a map is better than a globe however maps too have limitations the earth is spherical in shape and its surface is curved a curved surface cannot be shown correctly on a flat surface like paper a person who draws or produces maps is called cartographer it is not possible to make an accurate map from a curved surface however a map of a small area can be fairly accurate thus a map is more useful to study the earth types of maps mountains plateaus plains rivers and water bodies can be shown on a physical map lines defining the boundaries of countries states and their capitals can be shown on a political map besides these there are maps that show industries population transport minerals crop soil nature resources forest and wildlife they are called as thematic maps directions while going to school from your house you turn either left or right the words left and right indicate the direction of your movement we follow four major directions they are north south east and west maps follow a system to show directions place a map on a table the top side of the map is north south is always opposite to north that at the bottom to your right is the east and your left is the west the directions on a map can also be shown by an arrow which is marked n 
This shows the north direction once you know where north lies. It is easy to find the other directions on a map. Between the north and the east lies the northeast. Between north and the west lies the northwest. Between the south and the east lies the southwest. Between the south and the west lies southwest. All the maps follow the same method to show the directions. Scale Class The five. Earth is Social very big. Studies. It is Term not one. possible to Lesson show one. the actual size the earth, of the Earth on a map. Suppose that the ground Learning distance objective. between Delhi and Agra In is 200 km. It is not possible the solar to system. show these cities at 200 km from each other on the map. Therefore, this distance is represented by a smaller unit, say 5 cm on the map. The ratio between the distance on the ground and the distance on the map is known as the scale of the map. In this case, it would be written as 5 cm is to 200 km. A map scale can also be drawn as shown below. Maps are always drawn according to a scale. Key Key plays an important role in understanding the map because it tells us the symbols used in the map and what they stand for. Key is always given at the corner side of the map. For example, there are temples, mosques, churches, roads, rivers, bridges, railway lines, capital cities, etc. It is not possible to draw the actual pictures of these features on a map. Therefore, commonly used signs and symbols are used on a map. Some of the keywords are given here. International boundary State boundary District boundary Metal road Unmetalled road Railway lines Town and village Capital city Bridge Stream Dam Lake Forest Grass Church Mosque Temple Colors on a map Different colors are used to show various things on a map. Generally, maps follow a common scheme of colors. For example, on a physical map, water bodies are shown in blue to show shallow waters and darker shade of blue for deep waters. Plains or lowlands are shown in shades of green. Highlands are shown in shades of brown. This color scheme is used for maps all over the world. Outline Map is a diagrammatic representation of the earth. Map making is called cartography and the person who draws maps is called cartographer. Physical, political and topographical maps are some types of maps. Scale, directions, symbols and colors are the tools used to read a map. Maps are drawn according to a scale. Fill in the missing letters. The missing letters in the word political are O, T and A. The missing letters in the word physical are H and S. The missing letters in the word topographical are O, 
G, H and L. The missing letters in the word direction are D, E and I. The missing letters in the word symbol are Y and O. Tick the correct option. Dash map shows states and cities. Physical, political, topographical, none of these. The correct option is political. Dark brown color is used in the maps to denote dash. Plains, oceans, mountains, none of these. The correct option is mountains. A book of maps is called dash. Atlas, globe, map, none of these. The correct option is atlas. Fill in the blanks. Globe is diagrammatic representation of earth. In a map, blue color stands for water bodies. The topmost part of the map is north direction. There are four main directions and four sub directions. All maps are shown in the same method. Short answer questions. Name few types of maps. Physical map, political map, population map. Name four sub directions. Northeast, Northwest, Southeast, Southwest. Mention some colors used in the map. In the map, we use blue color for water bodies, green color for plains, and brown color for mountains. Long answer questions. How is a map more convenient than a globe? A map is more convenient than a globe because we can draw it on a flat surface. We can show countries, cities, and even a neighborhood on a map. Why are maps drawn according to a scale measurement? Maps are drawn according to a scale measurement because we cannot draw actual distances on maps. So we draw a scale as a ratio between the distance on the ground and the distance on the map. What are the uses of a map? The maps are used to represent landforms, political boundaries, water bodies, cities, etc. What is a key in a map? A key in the map is a method to show various features of map like boundaries, roads, railway lines, etc. By small symbols, key is always given at the corner of a map. What represents blue color on the map? The water bodies like ocean, sea, rivers, etc. represent blue color on the map. Kindly help our effort by liking, sharing and subscribing to our channel. Please press the bell icon to get more of such videos. Thank you.